many times, crankbait fishing can consist of moving from spot to spot until you find the one area that produces several fish over a period of time. Finding that one spot is the key. More often than not, it's a hump or a rock pile, invisible to the eye, but not to the depth finder. Let's join Larry in search of one of those prime areas in today's lesson, Crankbait Basics. You know, one of the primary types of stru structure for fishing crankbaits is points. And you want to work them very thoroughly, both sides and right out on the ends. We'll feel that bait hitting the bottom. There's so many times that fish have a tendency to, to suspend off the ends of points, and you'll bump that plug down there, and when you come through that zone where they are, if you've got the right diving bait on there that gets down there the right depth, they'll hit it where they won't hit a lure that's on the bottom. The whole key to fishing crankbaits is figuring out the depth you want the bait to run. You know, do you need to get it down there 10 foot? Do you need to get it down there 4 to 8 foot? There's always little tricks to it. I'll use different sizes when I'm trying to trying to figure out just how deep the fish are. Oh, my George Earth fish. Little feller, but he was right down the side of it. Now, see, I made several casts at that side of that point, but I did it from out. You know, even though he's a little bitty fish, you know, I did it from out, and I never got the right angle. The angle that you pull the bait by them, a lot of times is the whole trick. See, I brought it right down the side of that point, and I could feel it hitting them rocks and hitting bottom. And bam, he got it. When fishing a crankbait, a prime area to fish is a point. The angle that your bait crosses the point can be critical, so fish the point thoroughly, casting from many different directions. You get out here and get to fish in open water now, you gotta pay close attention to your depth finder. This type of fishing here is, I mean, if you know right where you're fishing, you don't really have to watch it that close, but when you're, when you're working an area that you've never fished before and you're trying to learn it, you really oh, want to pay attention to that depth finder. He don't feel real big, but typical crankbait fish. He's white, cold water, right down on the bottom. Wanted that crawdad. You know, when you got a <coughs> when you got an object in the water, like that old top or whatever that is sticking up right there, and you catch a fish, you want to automatically just look up and line yourself up at the bank, and then look down at your depth finder and see how deep of water you're in. Because there may be a key little sweet spot on a spot like that. I mean, you may have to hit the same place every cast in order to get a bite. Now, hopefully there's a sweet spot. You know, so many good places to bass fish are spots that you can't see. They're not sticking up out of the water. And you have to learn how to read a graph or how to look for holes in order to find them. Now, this particular spot here where all these fish are, it's a long bar. And it's got one little area on it that's like seven to eight foot deep. And there's cover sticking up off the bottom. It's, it, it's not much. It's more rubble than it is cover. There's certain times of the year when the water's real cold that fish, they have a tendency to like areas that do not have a lot of brush cover. You want rubble on the bottom. And right there where that's seven to eight foot deep, and you've got them little, it, it just kind of goes six, five, back to nine, it just, it jumps up and down. There's not really nothing there to get hung on. It's probably rock, it's probably what it is. See right there, look, watch this. See right there where that gets kind of rugged? It's not, it's not real visible. There's just there, now right there. See that little rugged place right there? Now that's a key spot right there. 
Now watch that thing drop off. And that's where it's, you know, that's the type of place that you want to look for an early spring school of fish staging, getting ready to come in to spawn. I thought it was a fish. He just missed it that first time. Oh, pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. Come on up here. Ooh, I've only got him with that back hook, too. Is what it was. Didn't open his mouth good. Yeah, pretty pass. I thought I felt one bump at that thing. He just, I hit that cover and slowed it down, and he just. A lot of times you just feel like you had a strike, and you don't. They don't really hit the bait. I think they just move for it and don't get it. Just get it down there and get it to bump in that cover and slow her down. Pause every now and then. That retrieve speed is pretty critical. Now that fish there. Fish like that, real pretty fish like that, healthy. A lot of times there will be more of them on a the spot. make several casts to the same place. Not only that, but when I get done fishing it from this angle, I'm going to move around there and fish it from a different angle because every spot that I've ever found bass fishing always had a proper way to fish it. You could pull in and fish it from several different angles and not catch a fish, but if you knew the right cast and the right angle, You just get the fish to hit it. It's just like they set up on a piece of cover looking a certain direction. After finding a productive crankbait area, fish that area thoroughly, making numerous casts to the same spot, but from different directions. Once again, the angle of your bait crossing the area can many times be the key to catching fish. Oh, Was that ever a good opportunity and he got it right at the boat <clears throat> well would you please come up here come on up here I want to go with him when he makes that run like that because you sure pull off there if you don't Tell whether I got him in the mouth or in the cheek. Oh, I got him. Look at the healthy of that fish. I mean, now that, when you catch them chunky like that, that normally means that it's a, a good school of fish. If you can ever hit it right, pull in there when they're really feeding, Boy, they'll eat you up. Now, that's pretty. I'll tell you what, that is one more beautiful crawfish bait. You get it down there banging on that and they're looking for crawfish. That's what they want. You know, sometimes you'll get your crankbait and it won't be running straight. It's, it, it just won't run true. Before you get your pliers and start bending on the front eye, check your hook hangers. Because if you hit a rock or something with your lure or the side of the boat and you bend one of these hook hangers over to the side, sometimes that'll cause it to run uh, off to one side and it won't be the front. 
But if your hook hangers are all straight and your O-rings are not uh, getting in a bind, then take your needle nose and tune it with the front eye. If it's running left, bend it a little bit to the right. Same thing if it's running to the right, bend it a little way to the left. Don't bend it too much because it don't take much to make a crankbait run true. Look here now. This is what you call bass fish making pass at my lure. And if he ever takes off, I'm gonna lose him because I have got him right smooth in the tail. <laughs> he, I knew I couldn't hold on to him. He just made a pass at it, and when I pulled, I guess I hooked him in the tail. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see, if I'd have played that one just real, real gently, if I'd have been in competition there, I'd have played that fish to the end. I'd have pushed my button and let him have line. I'd have landed him. Oh, I got his buddy this time. And this one here, I think I got in the mouth. Feels like it anyway. Yeah, that's a little better catch here. He had better aim. Better aim. Come on. See, that's a school of fish. They're all about the same size, every one of them. Pretty bass. I don't know, they might be able to see that chartreuse barfish a little better than the, than the crawfish color. Pretty bass. If I can hit that little spot out there, I can get a bite. best way to continue to hit the same spot is either get you a definite line on the bank and keep your boat in a certain water depth or put you out a marker buoy. If you're inexperienced, you need to put out a marker buoy and practice throwing in the same place, getting that same feel on the bottom. There's a whole lot more to fishing crankbaits than people really think there is. Now, there's times when just going down a shoreline or a point, around and around a point, and the fish are real active, that it, it's easy. But there's so many, many times that it's just like worm fishing. There's a little key sweet spot out there on the bottom, and you've got to hit it. Maybe it's one rock, one log, you know, just something different down there that every time one moves up there to feed, he butts right up against it. And you gotta bang your lure on it. I mean, this is not a school of fish right here that very many people will find. Missed one right there, just took a pass at it. Not a whole lot of people will find this type of place because it's so small and you have to spend a little time on your locator to find these type of places, and not only that, casting. You can idle around out there and see all kinds of things on electronics nowadays that look good, but you gotta spend some time casting to find the right spot. Being able to consistently cast to the same spot in open water is something a bass fisherman must learn to do. Bait presentation can be critical. The easiest method to use is to place a marker buoy on your target and use that as a reference. For more experienced anglers, the alignment of shoreline objects with your boat can replace the use of a marker buoy. 
Either way, being able to accurately hit your target consistently in open water is a must. Larry has found a key ridge where the water depth falls from nearly one foot down to 20 feet. Larry has positioned his boat to cast parallel to this ridge. Maybe this is Moby. Oh, oh, he's coming up. Good job. Nah. Eat it a little better now. He opened his mouth. Got it. Aren't they pretty? Good fish. Good fish. You know, there's lots of times during the year that a crankbait can be used to cover water, and then there's other key times of the year to fish structure. Times when fish are really schooled up in little specific spots, humps, points, ridges, ditches. This is a time when a crankbait will catch a lot of fish out of a small area. It's very important to remember to make several casts at the same object in one direction, circle around, move over there, and make several casts back the other direction, beating on that same object. Change colors of baits. Occasionally, this will trigger a strike. Come back and see me again next week. I'll make you a better bass fisherman.